So, for example, you have a chapter in your book, The Brain's Role in Family Values, that asks some big questions like, why should a conservative living in the Midwest find it personally threatening when gays get married in San Francisco or Massachusetts? How do you answer that question? Well, to answer it, you've got to go back a couple of steps and understand a little bit how the brain works metaphorically to give metaphorical thought. And here's how that happens. Uh, take very simple non-political cases, like more is up and less is down, uh, or he's a warm person, a cold person. This isn't just language. It's the way you think. And by the time um, you are six or seven years old, you have learned hundreds of ways of thinking metaphorically. Here's how it works. Suppose you're a child and you're held warmly as uh, by your parents, that is, you're held affectionately and you feel the temperature. Two different parts of your brain are active, one for emotion, one for temperature. Or you see water go into a glass, two different parts of your brain are active, one for verticality, one for quantity. They're active together. When that happens, when two different parts of your brain are active together over and over every day, the activation spreads along existing pathways. As it spreads repeatedly every day, the synapses get stronger along those pathways until they meet and you get a circuit form between them. And that circuit is physically the metaphor. It computes that metaphor. And that's why you have something like more is up and, uh, uh, and um, uh, affection is warmth. That's why you, uh, you know, and uh, And achieving. this can make um, heterosexual families, uh, couples in the Midwest, feel mm -hmm. less threatened about gays getting married in San Francisco? No. Let's go a little further. Uh, what's your earliest experience with governance in your family? You learn that a governing institution is a family, and you learn, for example, that in religion you have the Holy Father, for example, things of this sort, but also a nation is understood as a family, and uh, other institutions can be understood as families. And you break that down in the book into two versions, a strict father family, as you call it, that um, mapped onto pure conservative politics, and a nurturant parent family that mapped onto pure progressive politics. That's right. Do you really think Americans conflate politics and parents, though? Not literally, metaphorically. You may, and not only that, we learn both models. We have idealized models of the family that may or may not be the ones we were raised with. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you rebelled against your family. That, that's a different story. The question is, what idealized models do you learn? And in this culture, we all learn both. And what happens is that metaphor of the nation as family projects that mode of thinking of morality in these two very different kinds of families onto different aspects of our national life. Uh, most people uh, ha are partly conservative and partly liberal. That is, they're conservative in some, some ways, liberal in others. What does that mean? It means they have one mode of thought for, let's say, economics and another mode of thought for foreign policy or the reverse. And you co talk about people who are largely in the middle as biconceptuals. Talk about a word that will push Republican buttons. Yes. Uh, and not only that, the, they're not in the middle, and that's the point. There is no left to right spectrum. There are all possible kinds of combinations. Take Joe Lieberman and Chuck Hagel. Chuck Hagel is anti-war, very conservative. Lieberman is pro-war, very liberal. They agree on almost nothing. They're both called moderates. There is absolutely no such thing as an ideology of moderates. So uh, we're almost out of time, but then... Let's go, to the, let's go to the gay marriage stuff. Okay. If you're living in the Midwest, uh, you know, and you have a strict father view of uh, your life and your family and you identify with that in every part of your life, in economics, in politics, etc., then you are threatened by gay marriage because your whole identity is set up on a model where in a strict father family, you have a man and a woman and a father uh, and a mother, and that doesn't fit your identity. So in fact, you are threatened and your identity in the deepest way is threatened, and that is something conservatives have understood.